And this analogy is something I took with me and carried with me through prison. And I want you all to carry this analogy with you through the rest of your lives because I wish I'd have had this analogy when I was your age. He said, take this pot of boiling water. So we've got a pot of boiling water right here. He said, this boiling water represents the atmosphere that prison is, all right? And don't think about it because it's hot. Prison's hot, y'all. In Texas, they don't have air conditioning in prison. I don't know how, they, how it is in Louisiana. But in Texas prison, there's no air conditioning. And I was in prison on the Gulf Coast in Beaumont, Texas, where I did my time at the Styles Unit. So think about the humidity and the heat that you have in this city in July and August, but no air. You have no air conditioning. That's prison. But this pot of boiling water doesn't represent that part of prison. It represents the pressure that, that prison puts on whatever goes inside that prison. The boiling water will change whatever element you put into it. He said, so I've got a carrot, an egg, and a coffee bean, West. He said, if I throw this carrot into that pot of boiling water, what's that boiling water going to do to that carrot? Make it soft. That's right. He said, you do not want to be the carrot. The carrot does not fare well in prison at all. The carrot, first she's going to get hurt. Then they're going to steal everything from the carrot. And the carrot's probably going to get raped and maybe killed. You don't want to be the carrot. Worst one of them all. He says, so take this egg. I throw that egg in that pot of boiling water. What's that boiling water going to do to that egg? Make it hard. Exactly. He said that egg will survive prison physically, but mentally and emotionally, that egg won't survive at all. If you become that egg, you're coming back out of prison with swastikas all over you, and you'll be someone your parents don't recognize. It's not even worth you coming out. And you'll probably be in the revolving door like the rest of us and keep going back in. Jackson had been to prison four or five times. He's an old man, too. He said, but if I take this little coffee bean, the smallest of all three of these things, and I throw this coffee bean in that pot of boiling water, what happens? Changes the water. Exactly. It changes the water. You go from having boiling water to coffee. He said, so that little coffee bean had the power to change the atmosphere in that water. He said, when you go to prison, you are going to have to be like that coffee bean. You're going to have to change the atmosphere around you because you're going to put out a certain vibe. You're going to put out a certain energy that other people are going to attract to that have that same kind of energy. So if you're positive, that little energy around you, that little bubble around you is going to attract other people that are positive. You have to go in there and find other little coffee beans because they're in there. You've got to find those coffee beans, Wes. That's the only way you're going to survive and stay close to God. 